Hello, Internet. Today, I'm in Chelsea, New York, and we're going to be visiting Anixi, the swanky Mediterranean brasserie that boasts vibrant dishes from Greece, Lebanon, Syria, and Turkey. This melting pot of Levantine sea-adjacent flavors is the latest concept launched by City Roots Hospitality, the premier vegan restaurant group owned and operated by chef Guy Vackman. This afternoon, I'll be spending some time in the Anixi kitchen with the man who helped open the acclaimed kosher eatery, Mario Bucciolati. Let's clock in. Wow. Chef Mario. Hey, Chad. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us here at Anixi today. Very nice to meet you too. Welcome. To kick things off, what inspired you to pursue a career in the culinary arts and, and when and how did you kind of gravitate towards the plant-based side of things? My grandparents and my parents taught me a lot um, in the kitchen and I always loved the act of service. Getting into the plant-based style of cooking, it was a transition phase when I was working at a Japanese izakaya in Boston. I was working with tons of different animal products. From that and some documentaries and some nutrition books, I just made a decision to go more plant-based and kind of cut a lot of that stuff out of my life. Did you feel that your background um, it, with traditional Italian cooking translated well to Anixi? I did have to expand uh, my knowledge base on certain techniques and ingredients. Um, and Chef Guy has done an amazing job with uh, teaching me a lot of these things as well as the team here. I've definitely learned a lot from working here and, and then the food is just, it dazzles and excites the, our guests. They're super, super happy when they get this plate of food, these long kebabs on these big plates and like, you know, we have things hanging and there's a lot of like theater here too. So it's really cool. Yeah, where the presentation is just as stunning as the flavor and the ambiance you're eating it in. It's a whole package. It's been a pleasure getting to know you a bit, but I think it might be time for us to put that beautiful chef coat of yours to good use. Um, you want to pop in the kitchen? Let's do it. We're going to be making our most popular dish here at Anixi. It's called the grilled chicken shish kebab. We got our chicken here. It's a soy based chicken that's been marinated uh, for a long time. It soaks up all these delicious flavors of turmeric, coriander, and preserved lemon a lot of other spices going on. So yeah, we're gonna get to making them. We're gonna have this with the onions. We're gonna grill them and it's gonna be delicious. This is where they do all the kebabs. We have this grill right here, super hot. It's like, it's like being in an oven. And then we uh, finish them in the salamandra up there, which is basically like a broiler. I give you a sword, I get a sword. Yes. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this vegan chicken and we're gonna wanna go the long way and we're gonna pierce it Goes through, I'm gonna bring it down. Here's it, bring it down. Yeah, this uh, marinade, this soy chicken's got a beautiful, beautiful color on it now. Yeah. You can definitely see the uh, turmeric shining through. And so we're gonna do those pieces. Now we're gonna do some onions. Put like two or three pieces on. This part you gotta be a little careful to not stab yourself, but. We're going straight through. Three yeah. pieces straight like through two, the bottom. Yeah, two or three pieces. All right. Kebabs. Sword fight. That's right. There you go. <laughs> You're obviously a busy man. You're chef de cuisine for City Roots Hospitality. Uh, you're overseeing restaurants and a food commissary as well. What are some of those systems you've got in place to help you manage things like food cost, labor cost, and quality assurance. Document creation, you know, you might not like hear that often from a, a chef, but what gets measured gets managed. I think that's the best way to put it. As far as uh, quality assurance, you know, all of our chefs um, and cooks, we're always having them taste. My dad has always said, write it down yes. <laughs> as, as just like a baseline. Like if you've got a problem, if you've got to start solving something, just write it down. And it's Absolutely. crazy to see that, you know, some of the most recognized restaurants in New York and the country are essentially using that same formula. What were some of the biggest challenges you faced and what do you feel like, you know, the biggest rewards have been thus far? It did take us a while to kind of adapt to how we perform things in the kitchen. Um, and that's 
the same for every restaurant that opens. The most rewarding thing is just seeing people enjoying themselves here. I mean, look at this space. How could they not? <laughs> So yeah, now that we have our kebabs, we're going to get them on the grill. Okay. And so we're gonna put them on. And basically when this goes on the grill, that fire contact is gonna char it up and give that delicious, like almost smoky-like taste. So yeah, we let this sit for just a little bit because we want those nice grill marks to get on it. Do you feel like any particular region has the most influence over the menu at Anixi? Anixi means spring in Greek. So I would say like, you know, there's definitely a presence of Greek here with our pide, the Turkish style pizzas are from Turkey. Incorporating a lot of Lebanese dishes as well. And then we did a special where we did a, like a squid ink pasta, take on a squid ink pasta that was. Now I did see that on your Instagram, I believe. Yes. And that was one of those times where I thought maybe that's where you got to kind of infuse some of your experience with Italian fresh pasta making. Absolutely, yeah. It was fun. Lots of great things going on here. And I mean, the desserts too are just crazy. I, I had a medjool date cake yeah. myself uh, when we came and it was incredible. That's the right choice. So yeah, this is, you know, it's meditative cooking, you know? Yeah. But then also you have to make like 500 orders. <laughs> so now we're bringing it up to the salamandra. It's basically like a broiler. sauce you put over it. It's basically our house tahini that we infuse cilantro into. It gets this really nice color and also this really nice herbaceous note of cilantro. It goes perfectly well with the turmeric chicken, the paprika, and that kind of takes it all home. Wow. Master at work. Mario, the grilled chicken kebabs came out amazing. To maybe a little uh, kebab cheers. Yes, people at the restaurants have done mini sword fights, you know? Things get weird in Mixi. Yeah. They get really fun. It's like bursting with flavor. Mm -hmm. You've got the cilantro sauce over the top. Yeah, it's light, it's savory. I could probably eat four to six of these, and <laughs> I'm being quite honest. I love the taste of that grill on the chicken. It just adds a nice like crispiness to it. It's just so good. What kind of advice would you give those who are aspiring chefs or cooks or that next wave of food entrepreneurs? We're all working together for the greater good of serving everyone who comes through these doors or everyone who places orders online. And then communication, um, you know, being honest and not being uh, too hard to approach because you want to, you know, you need to be a leader be firm in certain situations when you have a line full of tickets, you know, you need to like get the job done and there needs to be some authority. At uh, my restaurant, we always joke around and say teamwork is short for family and family is short for teamwork. Thank you so much for letting us invade your restaurant and your kitchen today. You're welcome uh, Thank you to you and the staff. Everybody's been so gracious. Chef Mario, thank you so much. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to my next trip back to New York because I have a feeling you're gonna see me across the City Roots restaurant. Absolutely. Yeah, come here, go to Willow, Coletta, anywhere else beyond sushi. We got another one coming up. I think I was reading something about that and I'm very excited to see. Wow. <sighs> Folks, that was a Nixie. Immaculate facility, carefully curated menu, all driven by creativity and diligence from Chef Mario Bucciolade. If you've got a great vegan restaurant in your city that we need to check out, drop it in the comments and make sure you subscribe for more episodes of Industry Plant and to catch the premiere of Top Vegan Season 2 later this year. I'll see you at the top.